Are we gonna have a 22 pound today? I just guess needed like a 10 to 15 fish to do that. And we've got a pretty big zone, and it actually looks like we've got not one, not two, but three little river arms on this one. One thing that I would like to see on this lake is a little bit of water clarity. It's been so windy. The water has been a little bit dirtier. These lakes are, are, are kind of unique to other northern lakes because they're so shallow. Cold front coming in, so the fish are, they're changing. They're feeding up for the winter, no doubt. We're going to have to land on them. That's, that's the whole deal about sudden death. You better land on them, or you're going to be going home early. Welcome to General Tire's Major League Fishing. 18 anglers have escaped elimination here in Nina, Wisconsin. Today, nine will face off in sudden death round one. The first four to reach 22 pounds will earn their place in the championship round. Let's meet today's nine anglers. Qualifying out of elimination round one, he was your winner, Takahiro Omori. With a third place finish, Jeff Sprague. And with a fifth place finish, Andy Montgomery. Qualifying out of elimination round two, he finished first, Ot Defoe. With a third place finish, Alton Jones Jr. And qualifying with a sixth place finish, Edwin Evers. Advancing out of elimination round three, he finished second, Andy Morgan. With a fourth place finish, Josh Bertrand. And with a sixth place finish, Michael Neal. With no opportunity to practice and each lake presenting unique challenges, our pros must come ready for anything. Edwin Evers shows us how he prepared in General Tires Anywhere is Possible. Hey guys, welcome to Nina, Wisconsin. Man, I'm super excited to be up here. It's, it's the fall, fishing's got to be good. You know, one thing about Major League Fishing, we don't have a clue what lake we're going to. We don't get any outside information at these cup events. So, you know, I, I've got to be prepared for anything and everything. You know, it's kind of like the general tire slogan, anywhere is possible. So as an angler, I've got to prepare for all situations. One of the best for me that I have a, the utmost confidence in the fall is a chapo. It's just a really obnoxious topwater lure, makes an awesome sound, and I can cover a lot of water. I'm going to go with the bone color because to me, that's the one of the best colors in all conditions of water. It just represents shad. It can represent anything on top of the water. I've got a couple other things here in the lineup. Uh, I got a wake bull. I got it in a little bluegill pattern. Uh, it could be a great shad representation. Also, a very shallow bait, something I can keep up above the grass, maybe down the side of a dock. Now, if they happen to take me to a lake that maybe is uh, clear, maybe with deep grass. I've got this dredger tied on, just in a root beer color, something that I can crank over the top of that grass, you know, that 10 to, to 14 foot grass. If I had to choose three, those three right there, I'm gonna be able to cover water, do the things I need to do, and hopefully go win this event. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.